welcome back to my channel. I am doing this video in my kitchen right now because my husband is working night shifts, so he's sleeping during the day right now in our bedroom, and my daughter is sleeping in her nursery, so I don't really have anywhere to film, um, and I don't want my messy house to be in the background. But I quickly wanted to do this video while she is sleeping because I don't know how long it'll last. But if you're wondering why I haven't been doing um, regular videos over the past two months and why I'm not showing you know our day-to-day -day life and Ryland's development it's because we have had a really hard um, first two months with our new baby and I just wanted to put this video out there for people who are currently going through this or have been through this or you're pregnant and just want you know a better idea of what you might be expecting sorry if the lighting's terrible the sun keeps moving but I just wanted to do this video to be real and I'm hoping it helps someone because you know I think it would help me if I watched this but don't believe everything you see on social media like Instagram YouTube Facebook whatever because if someone's taking a video or a picture of their baby it's most likely not gonna be when they're crying having a severe meltdown or anything like that. It's gonna be when they're smiling, it's gonna be when they're sleeping and looking cute, and you can't help but feel like, oh my God, why can't my baby be content like that? How, why is my baby so difficult to put to sleep? Well, it's because they don't film it or take pictures of it. So if I post a picture of a, my sleeping baby or if you see someone else's sleeping baby, you don't get to see the work that gets put into that. So yeah, she might be sleeping, but you didn't see the 20 minutes of me struggling and fighting with her to get her to sleep. And things like that, like you, I'm not gonna take videos of her crying 24 seven sometimes. And if I put a caption like, she keeps us on our toes, what I really mean to say is sometimes she's crying so much that I don't know why she's crying, so then I start crying. But obviously I'm not going to put that. So if you feel like, you know, you're alone and you wonder why your baby can't be as content as someone else's baby, don't believe it because um, you don't know what they're going through and you don't know what it took to get those cute pictures. Um, I just want to be real. I have a very fussy baby. Um, she takes after her dad because apparently he was a really fussy baby and I wasn't expecting it. I honestly was not expecting it and I'm not complaining because when she smiles, it completely changes everything and you forget about the last 20 minutes of crying that she's been doing or, you know, when she gets cabin fever and you have to take her outside but then she cries the whole time you're going for a walk because she hates the stroller. Like you have to remind yourself like this is only a short period and you know when she smiles it just makes it so much worth it i 100 percent have a high intense high spirited baby and you might have one too and it's hard um she constantly needs to be stimulated if i put her down on her play mat one day the next day i have to move the toys around otherwise she will scream and then she's completely content once i change the order of the toys if we sit too long, she will start screaming. If we are outside too long, she will start screaming. Car rides, she hates. Um, you know, the people that say they have to drive around to get their baby to sleep. Yeah, not ours. She will scream bloody murder until she is out of the car, no matter what. So, you know, you just don't know what people are going through. And I just wanted to say you're not alone. And and she's not a bad baby. She's just very fussy and particular. If she is hungry, she will let you know she is hungry. And if you're taking too long, she will scream. If she gets bored, she will scream. She, If she's too hot, she will scream. She, she can go from extremely hyper and happy and content to literally having a meltdown two seconds later because she's now overtired. So I have to watch her tired cues like a hawk because if I miss them, it will be a meltdown. So it's stressful and you know, I really wanted to do daily vlogs with my baby to look back on and for other moms to see, but honestly, I think my video would just be her crying all day long and I just don't think people wanna watch that. And then it, you know, that's when it kind of hit me like, well, it's not really sending a clear message on what to expect in real life because if I just constantly show her smiling and happy, 
I think a lot of moms would be like, oh my gosh, I wish my baby was like her baby, but that's not realistic at all. She is not like that. We did have to switch her formula to the Similac Alimentum and she did become way more content when we did switch. Um, her awake time is much more content and calmer and she still has her personality though. So, you know, I was never expecting her to change her personality. So she is still high intense, but she's way more comfortable. She is no longer squirming 24 seven. She doesn't have as much gas she doesn't break out in rashes anymore and she's just more content after she eats um again you know she's still a fussy baby so i wasn't expecting a 100 percent miracle but she is way more content than she used to be and you know each day it's getting easier but i just wanted to say you're not alone if you have a fussy colicky baby hang in there <laughs> because we're all in it together um every day is a gamble some days she's so extremely well and content and then the next day she is just a nightmare. <laughs> um, I am thankful for the evening. She does sleep five, six hour stretches and I can put her back to sleep awake and she will just lay there content and fall back asleep on her own. Um, she will sleep to 7 a.m. and kind of just hang out with herself beside me in her bassinet and be content. So I am thankful for that. I know a lot of people, you know, have a crying, screaming baby all day long and all night long. So I am thankful. During the day, it's a little um, bit of a gamble, <laughs> but again, we're getting through it. But I just wanted to do this video. I've, I've said this a million times. Don't believe what you see on social media because you don't know what people are going through. Again, I'm not trying to give off a, you know, a false image. I just want to share the cute moments of my daughter and when she makes me smile, I want to make other people smile by sharing it. So don't think that I'm trying to hide that I, you know, have a colicky baby, but you know, this is real life. I keep saying that I'm going to be posting more videos, but as you can tell, I have a lot on my hands. My husband works a ton and he helps as much as possible and he is very hands-on and I'm thankful for that as well. But it is still difficult, especially um, right now she does cat naps so I have to go in at like the 20 to 30 minute mark and help her get back to sleep. Otherwise she will wake up cranky and not go back to sleep. So right now I'm pretty sure she's gonna wake up soon. But I have her sleeping in her crib on her back that is the wubbanub it is not a stuffed animal um so i am watching her right now i think one of the worst things that you can do is compare your baby to other people's babies because you will drive yourself crazy um or if you have a second baby and you're wondering why they're so different from your first baby i literally think you will lose your mind comparing and you just have to embrace your child and who they are and I am embracing her personality because she is just like her dad. She is a social butterfly. She is not an introvert. She loves being outside, whereas me, on the other hand, I am shyer. I like to be a hermit. <laughs> um, oh, she's stirring. I need to wrap this up. Um, Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and stay tuned for more videos.